everybody. Welcome and thanks for watching. This is Black Tree on TV and I'm your host, Alex Hudgens. We are your number one source for urban entertainment. This is what we do and we do it so very well, but we have a you to thank. Thanks for watching and making us the hottest new entertainment show on TV. Drop security. All right, now let's get things started so I can bring you up to date on all things Hollywood. We throw it back with James Franco who rocked out in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And we have an exclusive first look at the Roger Ebert documentary, Life Itself. Plus, comedian Dane Cook gets animated. And we talk to Tyler Perry about his latest movie. But first up, you may not know his name or even his face, but you have seen his work in several big movies like Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and King Kong. When it comes to motion capture acting, Andy Serkis is Michael Jordan in the game. through hell together. We spent four years, four years, fighting that virus and then another four fighting each other. It was chaos. But you, you all And I want you to know, it's not just about power, it's about giving us the hope to rebuild and reclaim the world we lost. What's up? Good to see you, my friend. Really good to see you. Always good talking to you, man. Congratulations once again. Thank I you. just know you just keep impressing me. Like, just <laughs> like, no, seriously, time oh. after time. I mean, you do it so very well. How do you get better at doing the motion capture thing? How do you improve on it? Well, I mean, this is it, it's it's all about the writing of the role. It's you know, it, it's a beautifully written script. This really intelligent script, and the way that that Matt Reeves and the, and the, and the writers of Mark Bomback have taken the the journey of Caesar in this one is been very interesting in terms of his you know the responsibility that he carries his internal conflict uh, being an ape but actually having been brought up with humans it's it's it was a joy to, to work on and working with Matt Reeves this amazing director who's given this real heart and soul to this you know blockbuster yeah but it's a blockbuster with real brains and heart. No, it does. It does have a lot of emotion, which I dig that, though, because the subject matter that we're dealing with, if it doesn't have any emotion, it doesn't work. No, exactly. So it, it totally exactly. works. Now, the apes in this movie have evolved because it's a 10-year span, but how has the technology evolved to make your job easier and help you perform better? Well, the great thing about the, the, the performance capture process now is it's, it's becoming more and more transparent so that the, when, the art, when the animators and artists afterwards take our performances that are authored on set, you know, they've created ways of um, mapping the performances which are so much more truthful and that the sort of the fidelity is so high now to, to the performances that we give on set that the emotions will be able to, to be read a, a lot better. Andy Serkis is incredibly talented. Seriously, those apes really look lifelike. Thanks, Sean. Now, while Sean caught up with the genius who gave the apes such an emotional feel, I caught up with the human cast who must go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the apes in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Okay, so you guys are kind of the, the survivors. So I wanna know, if you were in a real survival of the fittest situation, like who would last the longest? Clark's got the most energy. <laughs> yeah, but you're, I, I feel that you're... I, I'm a survivor, though. You you're a survivor. I'm a survivor. And I, you're smart, too. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Gary. So you're just counting yourself out here. You're yeah, why, why are you out oh, of this? Oh, no, I'd be the first to go. They'd be, they'd, <laughs> I'd be frozen, and they'd be coming up. They'd be cutting pieces off of me. <laughs> go, oh, 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 Clarky, you're they're going... You're too that. thin. You're too thin. a bit... Altman's a bit... Uh, he, he, he's a bit rough, isn't he? We had some Tabasco to go with this. <laughs> so we're eating Gary. Kay would make it, and and then and then to continue mankind, we'd have to. We'd have to. 
<laughs> we have to make a baby and then I have to sacrifice myself. Okay, that's actually the third installment of Planet of the Apes. Gobble, gobble. I, I hope that's what happens uh, in the next movie, maybe. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So this film, I think that's such an interesting look at humanity because we've got the apes who are almost more human. Caesar's better in tune with his emotions than I think a lot of the humans in the film. You know... Well, I think it's interesting there, but because Caesar is also, he's an ape. And his apes, you know, he's got he's got gorillas, silverbacks, chimpanzees. He's got, you know, firstborn apes, the secondborn apes in, into this world. And that he's got this human side of him. And he's one of the fewish, maybe, that remember it so clearly. And that he's wondering what side of, you know, as, as the leader, what type of society he's going to create within his village. And when, and I think that's a real struggle with him that he go particularly when when the humans are found to still be existing. I mean, because they could just swim from the trees, you know, or just go back to, you know. Right. You know, just a natural habitat, and I don't you know. It's a, it's a complex situation for him as it is yeah. for Dreyfus and myself. Almost how to advance the ape society, and then we've got the human society, which is declining almost. If we somehow had a virus. No, we're, we're coming back. Yet. We are <laughs> coming back. We're coming back. Don't oh, give we're up trying to, you know. But I mean, but it starts at that point where. You know, we, we have been through not just the virus, but through a civil war which has come yeah. through. There's the fact that we've been able to go, you know what, we're, you know, we're immune or we, we've, we've, we've built up an immunity to it and, he, and here we are and what are we going to do? And, and um, you know, at that hope, I mean, one real hope that there is also great fear because now you're actually, be you're seeing a little bit of the future. You, you know, right. I've got my child, I've got my, you know, we're able to think beyond, you know, where am I going to sleep tonight? What am I going to eat? We've got a few things sorted out and, you know, and, and we're both ready to expand and, you know, and the apes are, you know, already expanding, but they're coming up to their own thing. Threat. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, if not a little bit breezy in San Francisco. Okay, coming up, we throw it back with James Franco, who rocked out in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And we have an exclusive first look at the Roger Ebert documentary, Life Itself. Plus, comedian Dane Cook gets animated. And Black Tree on TV talks to Tyler Perry about his latest movie. It's all coming up next on Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.